Today we are making the iMaker Start $99 3D printer kit with all of these parts. Ooh, a ghost is attacking the printer! Ah! Okay, the problem we were having is trying to thread the rod through the brass. Uh, let's call it a bushing. I'm not quite sure. We'll do, or we loosen the screws, and that allowed the tension to be released enough to where you could actually thread the threaded rod on. Before that, you might be able to see in the time lapse, we tried and tried and tried, and there was no actually putting it through. Um, even just lightly tightening these screws down and this threaded rod is much more difficult to screw than this one.
Well, that was fun. Okay, it was a bonding experience putting the printer together. Let's go with that. Okay, so here's the printer. I'm not real happy with a lot of the excess wiring, but it's tied up, stay out of the way for now. And we'll see what happens after we actually print something. But there's the rest of the printer. There were a few things pointed out, the issue with this, that these have to be, the tension has to be released on these screws to actually get the threaded rod to go through. I um, also highly recommend some flush cut wire cutters, needle nose pliers, wrench, and that should do it. Maybe some small jeweler's pliers for some of the areas to try and help you get in a little bit better. So I guess that's it. We'll go ahead and power it up. So the power supply did actually come on. I didn't see a power switch anywhere, so I'm going to plug this in. And I do want to point this out before I do that. These are very hard to get to with the stepper in your way, and you can't actually raise the stepper far enough out of the way to make it okay, unless you're going to keep manually raising and lowering the threaded rod which would not be very pleasant. So the power is plugged in, but it looks like every time that the Z is going up or down, it's going to ride on the incoming power, which seems like a pretty big design flaw. All right, it's in the view. I'm going to power it up. And hey, a fan came on. Ooh. The correct fan came on, so that was wired correctly. Okay, the display is just showing blocks. That doesn't look so good. Press the button. I'll press the button. Hmm. That looks kind of bad. This might be where the video ends. I'll zoom in. That is all that's showing on the screen. Pause it for a minute and see if we can't troubleshoot and see what's going on. Okay, checked around on a few things. Adjusted the contrast of the display thinking maybe it's just contrast is too high or the brightness is too high and that's why we can't see anything but that's not it. So, either the board is bad for the display, or the actual controller board that everything plugs into is bad. I'm going to reach out to the company, to iMaker, and see what they want to do as far as which board needs to be replaced and what they're going to send for that. And once that's done, I'll do another video showing the actual test print. He's not real happy. He spent several hours, quite a few hours, I don't know, three hours or so assembling this, and we would really like to just see it print at this point in time. So, to be continued. Sorry about that. Until next time.